All right, Pickers, we are here. We're at auctions. It's uh, auction day, September. I just had a birthday. I went and got myself a dirt bike yesterday. That was really cool. We got Storage Stalker in the background right now. Oh, wow. What up, guys? What were you bidding on? What did you see at the last one? Stuff. Under the mattress was something lurking. Someone said it was like a bike under there or something. A bike or a uh, firearm or something a cool. A Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> there something may little. So there was a unit that was not the best looking, but it had signs and it went for... It had signs like a nice smoker barbecue. -er, yep. A Ugg box. Yep. The Wii Fit is kind of video game-ish. Yeah, and then there was a black little weird looking case, rolly case on the side. Yeah, and I, I found microphones in cases like that. I guess with today's pickings, that actually didn't look bad. And it wasn't a bad price. Okay, pickers. Well, we got one. Uh, we bought one. In addition to the one that we're going to go through later, uh, it's stuffed. Let's take a look. What do you guys think? Two seventy-five. That's like old school prices for this many boxes. I see a bike, fishing stuff, audio stuff, backpacks. I mean, these are, I don't want to speak too soon, but it could be a fun one. It could be a weird one. Uh, let's make sure there's not like a water heater. I don't even see a bunch of big furniture. Just that little piece. This could be, this could be a good one. So there's no way I can sit here and unbox all this. So what we're gonna do is load it up. I don't even think this is, this is more than one van load. Uh, it is packed. So we will take it and unbox it at a different place. Pickers, we are Fill in the van quick. It's gonna be at least two van loads. I'd say a hundred boxes maybe, you know, with little boxes and everything combined. And then like, there's like a hundred backpacks, but my buddy Jorge helps me pop open a, one of the tool kits. We found a bunch of toolboxes and um, he said there was 500 bucks in Snap-on in that first box. So I'm really excited. I opened this box and it was all jewelry boxes and coins and watches. So this is looking really, really interesting. All right, Pickers, let's open the first. I mean, there's a hundred backpacks. First, we got some comic books. Gotta love those. You guys know I'm into comics. These are not terribly expensive by the looks of it, but we got a little wall plaque there. Some colored pencils, that's cool. Stapler, paintbrush. Pipe wrench, that's great. Another paintbrush, jump rope, we got a leash. Now this storage unit guys has tons and tons of just little stuff. It's like the entire thing is a junk drawer. So I don't know if we should, we got condoms. We'll go ahead and toss those. More prophylactics. But the entire unit's like junk drawer, which I love, love, love. Um, but it's also gonna take a long time to get through it. An additional fresh box. That is an empty bag. Let's just open it up, shall we? It looks like there's some sneakers. Now these are shoes we will not be using. Same with these. And we got another grody pair of shoes. I don't know. Looks like a sharps container. Makes me nervous. Is it a sharps container? Let's find out together. No. It is another junk drawer. Some soap. Maybe some jewelry. Little pieces of gold, perhaps. I think that's exactly what that is. A little gold scrap. And uh, not to... I don't know if I've shown it yet, but we found... It's all plastic bags. Five or six jewelry boxes already, so stay tuned for that. Let's see if the lighter works. It does. Here's three of them. Let's check what's inside. This one, it's like a CD case. And there is some CDs, but not for us. Let's see what else. And ooh, a little boom box. Little retro boom box, that's awesome. We'll look that up. Some people love these things, so that's a cool find. Little $3 bag at the market. Here we are with a Jansport. Small pocket first, what do you think? 
We got a little puppy. Ooh, like old Disney stuff maybe. Interesting stuff. We'll bring that to the market. There is what appears to be a Little Mermaid yo-yo. Why not? Love the Little Mermaid. My band actually covered Under the Sea. So look up Five Days Dirty Under the Sea and you will see me singing Under the Sea. And then a bunch of Hot Wheels and stuff. So one more bag we pulled out. Sounds like tools. And that's exactly what it is. A bunch of hand tools. I'm telling you, the first uh, thing that we opened had some snap-on in it, so... Maybe we'll find more snap-on, who knows. This is a calculator. A Nintendo DS game. Wow, it's full. Full of games. That's not just one game. See, look at sports. Totally not cool. And then Goosebumps, Ghostbusters, Clone Wars, Spider-Man, Cop. It's called Cop. This is a bunch of games. More DS, bam, and then that one's empty. This looks like a cool sun-baked but retro vibe clock. Looks like we got a lamp. I'm not a big fan of that. I'll put it off to the side just so I don't fill my garbage with it yet. A bicycle seat. I don't know, do people buy those? I guess we'll find out. A Star Wars keepsake from Hallmark. And it's in there, so I guess we'll look that up. Okay, here we are back again. Hmm, vintage Disney, but it's just too dirty for my liking. There's a koala bear, he's too dirty. Also, this is straight junk drawer status. Spider-Man, okay, we'll try it. This looks like a job for me. Everybody, wow, what a fun kit. Can't beat that, right? That's gonna go right into tools or into my personal tool collection. Random ass camera. I don't like it. I'm gonna toss it. Is it was that wrong? Do you guys hate that? Should I not have tossed it? We found an alarm clock. That'll work. Or will it? It might not work. I love pouches. Put your pepper spray in there. Some speed racer stuff. All right, y'all, we got a big box. I'm gonna put the box here so I can actually pull stuff out and show you. This is a giant bird candle, just giant. I'll be honest, that's borderline glorious. That's pretty, I like that. That's a cool, cool throwback alarm clock. We'll try to sell that. Random pouch. And a beautiful little thing in it. We've got another very identical pouch with some weight to it. This has got some weight to it. Ooh, right out the gate, baby. Bunch of sunglasses, aviators. I don't think they're worth money. And if they are special, good for whoever buys them. Cause I'm selling them for a buck. Come and get them. And then something heavy in there. Oh, buddy, yes. That's great. It's a, it's a pellet gun. How cool is that? With all the pellet gun stuff. I'm gonna guess. These are BBs or pellets? Oh, they are. They're all BBs. And then tons of unused. We could use this right now, should we? Should we use this right now? That's a garbage, that's a throwback Raiders. But man, they're just dirty, so we're gonna toss them. Same story with the Niners. As much as I think this is cool, that is actually, well, vintage collection. So how vintage can it be? We'll bring it to the market. There's a lot of 49ers fans here. This is a video CD disc man. Someone might get that. There's a tire foam. So these are some clean, there's something in there. Or it's just sandy. Sandy Koufax. It looks like a jewelry box. This would be the seventh jewelry box I've seen, but the first one I really, really opened. Does this mean there's jewelry in it? I don't know. It's more of a music box than a, there's a little watch. That can go to the market. 
There's a watch that can go to the garbage. Big old pack of matches. I don't know. Is anybody gonna want that? I guess we'll try. We could try to sell that. Nothing wrong with that. This is like a finger thing. That's wicked. I'm gonna show that to my finger thing specialist. I don't know. Do we want to keep this and try to sell it? It's pretty cute, so we will. Although, one little nublet's missing. A Swiss watch box. It feels light. And it is empty. That's too bad. That's a few little doodads, huh? Medieval times. Guys are permanente. That's cool. I don't know what that is. But it doesn't look cheap. Little... Hit clips, dude. Hit clips are cool. We're actually gonna keep all that in this box and we will put random things into it like the finger thing. That feels weird. If I had to guess what this is, I could not guess what this is. Macto knife. Let's just cut somewhat safely. There we go, guys. Tons and tons of baseball cards. You see this? This is locked. And several, several things that they have are locked. Does that mean that there's treasures in it? I don't know. There is a somewhat easy way to get into a lock that somebody taught me. We are through. You see? We cut it. The big reveal. What kind of treasures needed to be locked up? Shoes. Dicey shoes. I don't know what those are, but they're shoes. These look like Jordans. There's some Jordans. That's a Jordan. Those are some Adidas. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting dark, so let's do one more box from this video. Believe me, there is a hundred more backpacks and boxes. Many, many items that are locked. I just looked in the van when I was getting this box, and there was tackle boxes that were locked other backpacks that were locked. So there's a bunch of locked things. A Rosie O'Donnell doll. A Rosie O'Donnell. This is Wild Animals VHS. This is a book, Alcoholics Anonymous. I hope that he graduated and I hope he's doing good. Oh my garbage, this is a sander. Let's see, the cable's not terrible. We filled the van and we have a whole nother load to do tomorrow, so I just want to take a peek and get this video out to you guys, so that's that. Keep an eye out. There's many, many cool things coming from this unit. Interesting things, several jewelry boxes that we can go through together. Thank you for watching. I love you.